So you you talk a lot about money in your work, or at least in your late, your earlier work, you you written about money often, uh, and, and like scarcity and the sort of role with that. So why do you think artists and like art, so creative people, why do artists not make money? Like, what is it with the, obviously there are some, you know, if you have a big blockbuster movie or book, they make money. But what is it about just the everyday art? Because then it's like, they're giving gifts. Most artists are gifting something for, for free. So I'm just curious your thoughts on this. Yeah. That has to do with what I call the cult of quantity mm. and the economic system that's related to it, which uh, is based on the exchange of commodities. I mean, money itself is is a um, a measure. Mm. It's a quantitative measure. And when you so and it works really well if you are using it to exchange standardized things that you can reduce to a set of specifications. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to order 5,000 widgets from you and I want them at this weight and this level of, of purity, et cetera, et cetera. Like I can specify that and market competition can operate. Mm -hmm. But an artist, a true artist is creating something not just good enough to meet a set of quantitative specifications. Mm. But an artist is in service to the work itself mm -hmm. that and wants to make it, wants to fulfill that work, regardless of the demands of the market, of the boss, of the art critic, of the, the customer, mm. the market. Like there's, we can detect art that, that tries that. It's called a sellout mm. when it's no longer in service to itself. Mm but it's in service to something external and that, but that's what lends it to commercialization. So if you don't do that, if you are a, a faithful artist, there's no guarantee that you're going to produce something that is uh, acceptable to the market. You mm -hmm. might get lucky. Like I'm not saying that just because something does well commercially means it's a sellout, mm -hmm. but the converse is very often true. When it's not a sellout, it often does not do well in the market because mm -hmm. you're not doing it for that. You know? mm -hmm. Do you, do you consider yourself an artist? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, sometimes I I spend inordinate amounts of time on just one sentence mm -hmm. because it just doesn't sound right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's still going to get the point. Like anything that I could specify as its um, uh, practical function, mm -hmm. um, it, it it works, you know, but it's just, uh, it doesn't, it's not right, you know, mm -hmm. that, so yeah. And, and yeah, I'm not doing it solely for aesthetic purposes. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the exporting of art onto aesthetics is a big problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Art is not something separate from uh, practical goals. Mm -hmm. It's it's um, in service to those goals, but not only that. And or you could say that the full service to the goal depends on things that are beyond our understanding. Mm -hmm. Like probably, if I write something that's really beautiful, uh, that that is more beautiful than it has to be. Mm -hmm. It, it probably actually serves what it has to be even better than I understand. 